Hey guys, Jordan here. In this video, I'm going to be answering a real estate photography question. And that is, what is the ideal height to set your tripod at while shooting real estate photography? Now, a lot of people will say chest high or waist high or something like that. I don't, I don't really like that as a guideline um, because it doesn't really fit. You know, I'm always adjusting my camera height depending on the property, how tall the walls are. So it's not really, really set. And you know, when you're out front shooting a two story home, usually your tripod height is set pretty high. So I'm pretty much extending it all the way out. I use the Manfrotto 190X tripod. So if you're in the market for one, that's a great tripod. That's the one that we use with all of our media specialists out in the field. And uh, so usually all the way up, and also it depends like how the home is situated on the hill. You just wanna be able to get good composition. Um, with interiors, I think this is something somewhere where real estate for, beginner real estate photographers struggle with. The, their tripod height will be too high or too low. Usually in rooms, you, I like to see a little bit more flooring than the ceiling. So you just gotta look at your lines, all right, um, you know, and adjust as you go. Um, some rooms have really tall um, ceilings, so you, you might need to compensate for that. And then in like kitchens, it can be tricky at times because a lot of real estate agents don't want to see the underneath of, a, of the cabinet. So you have to kind of know what you're looking at. Does it, is it more appealing to be higher or lower? These are kind of judgment calls that you have to make as you're shooting property. Same with like small bathrooms. You maybe have a little sink over here. If it's too high, you don't see it. If it's too low, it just doesn't look right. So um, you're gonna have to use your best judgment. And that's why I say for all real estate photographer beginners, you need to try to eliminate as many variables as possible, especially when you're first starting. Feel free to do manual and flash and all this kind of stuff. Later on down the road, when you're first starting out, you need to really focus on composition because that's what your customers care about the most, right? It doesn't matter if you're using the latest and greatest methods for shooting real estate photography. If you're focused on like a wall and it, your composition doesn't look good, your your set, your tripod is so high. You know, if you have a an ugly composition that's way too high with the best lighting, that is worse, in my opinion, than not using all the variables and having the correctly set um, shot. So, anyways, that's my two cents on camera tripod height. Um, it really depends on the property, so um, you just got to get a feel for, um, you know, what the properly composed shot is and adjust your tripod accordingly. So anyways, that's going to do it. If you guys are interested in learning more about the real estate photography business and you're new to it, you can check out our free jumpstart guide, PDF download. The link is in the description. That's going to do it for this one. Reach out if you have any questions. We'll see you guys on the next one.